and you aren't living to the fullest unless you got them kidneys filtering. This is a quick video on one of the most revolting and ignorant alternative health memes currently in existence. If you've watched even a few Robert Morse videos, you'll have probably heard plenty of talk about getting your kidneys filtering. And it really seems of paramount importance to Morse and his Morselets to piss in a jar and look for solid matter. Just been to the toilet and, um, you know, I wanted to show you what kidney filtration looks like and the difference when you've been on a dry fast. Now, can you see how thick that is? That is... Something special happened yesterday morning. I got that kidney filtration. I've been looking forward to this moment for a long time. So where does this theory come from? Well, Morse has given us a rundown of his research into the matter, and it obviously starts with pissing into a jar. I also learned in the woods when I was a hermit about filtration of the kidneys. Because every time I would pee, I was living in a van. I didn't have a bathroom. I'd pee in a jar. And then this jar would have sediment in it. And I'm going, oh, look, I got a lot out today. I didn't for once think that anybody did not filter. <laughs> I became a practitioner and started looking at blood work and, and, and uh, um, urinalysis and stuff. I realized people weren't filtering. I'm going, well, wait a minute. You got to filter. So... In summary, Morse pissed into a jar and noticed the sediment. He subsequently noticed that other people don't have sediment in their urine. Now which steps of the scientific method has Morse managed to navigate here? Well, he's made an observation, sediment in urine. I can't say that he's proposed a hypothesis. He certainly hasn't designed or conducted an experiment, so there are no results to analyze, but he has formed conclusions. So we've managed to navigate step one, and step five without the interference or inconvenience of steps two, three, or four. <laughs> Bazinga. Now, from the lymph nodes, where does your waste go? Not back into the blood system. You can convert some of these, uh, this chemistry, but most of it has to be eliminated to the outside world. Where do you think your body does that? Through the liver? I've had people say through the liver. Through the liver? The liver doesn't expel to the outside world. No, but your three kidneys do. You have three kidneys that are the main eliminative organs of cellular waste, not your stool, your kidneys. The biggest problem with this whole stupid theory is pretty simple. Lymph doesn't drain out through the kidneys. The ureters that drain to the bladder are not connected to the lymphatic system. Lymph fluid drains back into the blood via the two lymph ducts found in the neck. All of the tissues in our body are drained by the lymphatic system, but nothing special really happens in the kidneys. One interesting point to consider is the case of kidney transplants. If the primary function of the kidney was filtering the lymph, you'd think that connecting the lymphatic vessels would be essential for a transplant to work. However, the lymphatic vessels in both the donor and host tissue are sealed with clips. New lymphatic vessels will of course form, but there is debate as to whether this helps or harms the outcome of the transplant. So what's going on here? Some amount of sediment in your urine is apparently normal. I wouldn't know this because I don't piss in a jar. But from what I can tell, the sediment is made up of cells, salts and proteins. If you drink enough fluid, this sediment will be dilute in your urine. But if you drink less fluid, let's say, for example, you do a dry fast, the sediment will become more concentrated and the capacity of your urine to keep salts and the like in solution will be decreased. If you refrigerate your urine, you'd also expect this to cause some dissolved substances to precipitate. Pretty simple stuff. If you're watching this and you're not convinced, let me make the choice clear. If you follow the conventional view of the lymphatic system, you'll find yourself supported by hundreds of years of medical research based on dissections and experiments. I'll link some papers and useful information below as always. If you really want to confirm this for yourself, you could take a look inside a body, because the evidence is right there. If you follow Morse's ideas, you're relying on knowledge that was revealed to someone whilst gazing into a jar of piss in the 1970s. Although I'm not even sure this story of revelation is true, because this detox miracle source book published in 2004 makes no mention of the piss in the jar test or sediment in the urine. As I said, this is a short video. Once you discover that lymph doesn't drain out of the kidneys and into the bladder, there's not much else to say. Please stop trying to make your kidneys filter. This is probably the last video on Robert Morse for a while. If you enjoyed it, please thumb it up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who's trying to get that lymph moving. And recently she sent me this random message and she said I had to share my excitement. 
and she sent me a picture. Oh, can you see it? There we go. Let it sit for four to 12 to 24 hours. The longer you let it sit, you may want to put it in the refrigerator, but just let it sit for a few hours. If your kidneys are functioning optimally, how they should be functioning, then that means that you should have acid waste in your urine. Hey guys, <laughs> quick video. So are you filtering? And then I did, um, and then I've just had very, very good kidney filtration just now. Pretty good, you can't really see much through it. Um, it's starting to drop, well, the sediment's starting to go to the bottom. But what's up YouTube? I've got another surprise for you. You guys know what this is by now. If you've been following me, you know what this is. It's another huge, huge filter. Look at this. Check this out guys, this is another um, um, P-check for filtration, um, definitely filtering. Huge improvement in terms of kidney filtration, check that out. It's pretty dark there. <laughs>